Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam! Look at the top of the stage. This pump is proved better than you in your face. Million dollar smile, blue blood, golden boy. A bit of a polarizing character. Some like him, most hate him. He's had his fair share of wins and losses. But is he better than the SWF World Champion? Well, he doesn't have the title, so I'm going to say no. The music hits and we all know who it is. First time we've seen her since she won the title. Wow. Not very receptive of the third champion in history. The first ever female to hold the SWF World Championship. Bad luck, Rita Rotten. That's right, you heard me correct, folks. She's the third title holder in the company's history. Here we go. The match is about to begin. There we go. The bell has rung. Oh, starting things off. Wait a second. Look at this. Oh, reversing the tombstone pile driver. Wow, bold move, and he pays for it with a slap across the face. That's one of the most ultimate disrespectful things you could do as a professional wrestler. Oh, and that's another one. The eye poke. Oh, ho, ho. turnabout is fair play, Golden Boy. Two polarizing characters here in the SWF. Two very different personas. Look at this. Once again, reversing the tombstone pile driver. Drops the, the world champion on her head. We've only had three champions in the history of the Super Wrestling Federation. The barbaric bastard Von Stott. The undisputed ace Luigi Calzone. And now, cementing her name and her legacy into the record books of the Super Wrestling Federation. Bad luck, Rita Rotten. She defeated Luigi Calzone with the reverse chin lock, forcing him to tap out, forcing him to submit, forcing him to give up. I know that must have been very difficult for Luigi Calzone, but he has to think long term, think about his career, think about his family. If he gets injured to the point where he can no longer fight, what does that mean for his mother and his mother and father in their pizza parlor? We know that he works very hard. We know that he's a he's a champion at heart. He wants to help pay for his family. His family's business. He wants to be the world champion. He wants to be the biggest draw in professional wrestling. You can't do that if your career has ended early. Much like the Russian war machine Ivan Backlash, who is still out on injury by the hands of the first ever SWF world champion, the barbaric bastard Von Stott. We've only had three champions so far. This is the first time we've seen Rita Rotten since she defeated Luigi Calzone to win the title. And what a unique match. Bad luck Rita Rotten versus Golden Boy. She's got him in that single-legged Boston Crab. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's going to be so painful on her legs. The way they're bent like that and being stretched. Oh, the eye poke there. Two very polarizing, venomous, villainous characters are these two in the ring right now. The Blue Blood Golden Boy and Bad Luck Rita Rotten, both not very well received by the fans. Interesting, it's not too often you see two villains going at it here at the SWF. Not too common in the world of professional wrestling. In this sport, normally you've got the well-received competitor and the not very well-received competitor. Fans normally have someone to cheer for, someone to boo for. It'll be interesting to see how the fans respond to two villains going at it. Golden Boy's had his fair share of wins and losses. Oh, knees to the head. Again, the last time we saw Raider Rotten was when she defeated Luigi Calzone to win the SWF World Championship. We haven't seen her since. And now that we've seen her... She's looking confident. She's looking brave. She's looking strong. She's looking courageous. She looks like a champion. Oh my goodness, the low blow there. And he pays for it with that kick to the face. It appears referee Ed Trout is going to be lenient in this match as he has been in most of his officiating as of late. Both competitors have so much to prove in this match. So much to gain. If Golden Boy wins, 
He proves that he can defeat the champion. He proves that he deserves to hang in the top tier of performers here at the SWF. If Rita Rotten wins, it proves that she's not a paper champion. She's not a fluke champion. She deserves to be at the top, which is exactly where she is because she is the SWF world champion. Beautiful kick there by Rotten. Look at this, the reverse chin lock, the same maneuver she used to win the SWF world title. That's not gonna be how she wins tonight, at least not right now. Strong left strike there by Rotten. Knees to the face. My goodness. How tough are these competitors to put up such fight, to take such damage, to get back up and continue the fight? Wait a second here. Oh my goodness. That rolling Samoan drop. Oh, poke to the eyes. And again, a front rolling Samoan drop there. What a devastating move. Rita Rotten wisely using this time to catch her breath. Children do not like Rita Rotten. They're scared of her. They think she's nasty. They think she's dirty. They think she's rotten to the core. And my goodness, they are correct. With her slicked back, green hair, sides of her head shaved full of tattoos. That's every parent's nightmare. But she doesn't care about what other people think. She's from the other side of the tracks. Oh, 2.9. She almost put away the golden boy there. She lives by her own rules. And look where that got her. World Championship. She may not be every parent's dream. But she's living her dream. Of being the best of the best. And better than the rest. Golden Boy says that he's... He's better than everybody. He's pompous prude better than you. But he's not the world champion. So how good is he? The crowd showing how they feel about Rita Rotten with an uproar of boos. Kick to the chest. The reverse chin lock. Look at that. It's all over. Rita Rotten wins with the reverse chin lock. And once again, she's not letting go of the submission hold. The referee looks too intimidated to get near and stop her. Rita Rotten is not letting go of the reverse chin lock, showing that she is dominant.